You're welcome to the news Dex of Television Nigerian. I am Charles Ibe with the news update at this time for Friday the 13th of March 2020. President Mamadou Buhari on Thursday appealed to members of the private sector to join hands with the federal government to utilize opportunities created by the negative impacts of the outbreak of coronavirus on the global economy by intensifying moves to diversify the economy, reduce reliance on oil and boost investment in agriculture. The president's appeal came on the heels of a report of global glut in the price of crude oil as a result of the outbreak of coronavirus, which has been declared a global pandemic. The federal government, however, cautioned Nigerians against trips to some countries with high reported cases of the disease and clarified that it has not placed travel restrictions on countries with a high level of coronavirus transmission. The president further stated that the country's reliance on crude oil for 60% of its revenues in the face of the ravaging effects of COVID-19 will result in downward slide in the country's move to address its infrastructure deficit and human capital challenges. The Abuja Division of the Federal High Court under Justice Anwili Chikere on Friday ordered that the dethroned Emir of Kano, Namido Sanusi, should be granted his freedom. The court in its ruling held that Sanusi, who was deposed as emir by the Kano state government last Monday and forcefully taken to Awe in Nasrawa state where he was confined, is entitled to his constitutionally guaranteed rights to personal liberty and movement. The ruling followed an ex parte application the dethroned emir filed through his team of lawyers led by Prince Latif Pabemi SAN on Thursday while Justice Chikere fixed March 26 to hear Sanusi's substantive suit against the respondents. Three African countries of Ghana, Gabon and Kenya have joined the League of African Countries affected by the ravaging coronavirus. The number of countries affected by the coronavirus across the African continent has now increased to 15 with the recent cases. The regional breakdown of impacted countries have Ghana, Ivory Coast, Burkina Faso, Nigeria, Togo, Senegal on the West African frontiers, Kenya on the East African frontiers, DR Congo and Cameroon on the Central Africa, South Africa on the Southern African region, while Morocco, Tunisia, Egypt and Algeria are countries affected on the North African frontiers. The Nigerian Navy has stated that in its efforts to rid the waterways of all forms of criminal activities and allow legitimate economic activities to strive, the heat on criminals operating in the country's waterways will not be relaxed. The commanding officer of the Nigerian Navy Forward Operating Base, Ibaka Akwaibom State, Captain Peter Yume, made the pledge on Thursday while handing over to the Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps 316 drums of illegally acquired diesel seized from hoodlums at the Agbani offshore, warning that those involved in illicit trades to repent and embrace legitimate businesses. Yume, who explained that on sighting the Navy gunboats, the suspects abandoned the medium-sized wooden boat used in carrying the product, lamented that the smugglers have continued with the illicit trade despite the Navy's effort in making daily arrests. The Court of Appeal in Abuja had scheduled hearing for Monday, March 16th, in an appeal by the APC National Chairman Adams Oshomole, a day before the commencement of the APC NEC meeting, purportedly being convened to find solutions to the lingering leadership crisis currently locking the ruling party. Oshomole, by his appeal, is seeking, among others, the reversal of his suspension by a High Court of the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, ordered that Oshomole should desist from parading himself as the APC National Chairman. Oshomole, in his appeal, had argued that the judge erred in law and arrived at a wrong conclusion, which occasioned a miscarriage of justice when the court placed him on suspension at an interlocutory stage of a suit instituted against him by some aggrieved members of the party among other notable issues. The Civil Defense, Correctional, Fire and Immigration Services Board has approved the 2020 recruitment into Nigeria Immigration Services going by a statement on Friday by the Service Public Relations Officer, Sunday James in Abuja. James stated that the recruitment was approved by the board under its chairman and minister of interior, Ralph Aregbeshola, with the exercise letter to run for four weeks from the date of the publication. He called on members of the public to make use of the opportunity and apply while advising the public against patronizing fraudulent websites. 
Nigeria Football Federation President Amadou Pinik said on Thursday that the Federation is working hard to avoid disruption to the travel and safety of the Super Eagles players who would be coming from Europe ahead of the Africa Cup of Nations qualifier against Sierra Leone. CAF has confirmed that the match billed for March 26 will go on even as countless sporting events have been cancelled worldwide. Almost all the Super Eagles players are coming from Europe that has pressed the panic button following the outbreak of the novel coronavirus, with Italy remaining in lockdown and airlines cutting the number of flight schedules. And that's the news update on Television Nigeria. Many thanks for watching. I am Charles Ibe.